Okay, here's some examples of using our properties of logarithms to kind of um, uh, evaluate numerical values of other logarithms that are related to the, what we're given. And in this case, we're given the fact that the log of 9, now if we don't see any base here, it's understood to be base 10, so log the base 10 of 9 is 0 0.95, and log the base 10 of 2 is 0 0.30, and these are just accurate to two decimal places, so these are rounded off. So again, this means log to the base 10, I just didn't want to write the little 10s, so we just use the abbreviation, so this is log to the base 10 of 9, equals 0.95, and log to the base 10 of 2 equals 0.30. We want to find the following. So the first one is a, the log to the base 10 of 81. Well, how can we write 81 in either terms of 9 or 2 or, or both? Well, we know that 9 squared is 81, so I can rewrite this as... I kind of already wrote this down, so I'm just going to kind of move it over so you can see how it develops. And instead of writing 81, we can write 9 squared. Now, what, what does that give me? Well, I can see the log of 9. I know what that's going to be, but I've got the 2 here. But we can use our uh, power property logarithms to bring that out in front. And now we've got 2 log of 9, and there you see the log of 9. That's what you know, and you know that that's 0.95. So I can substitute. So instead of writing log of 9, I can write 0.95, and then I just have 2 times that, which is 1.90. Let's see how that works. Okay. And the next one... Um, Next example, let's say we want to find the log of 4.5. Hmm. Well, 4.5 is 4.5, and, and if I change 4.5 to an improper fraction, that's the same thing as 9 over 2. If you divide 9 by 2, it gets, you get 4.5 or 4.5. Now, the thing about that is that we can use our quotient rule, and that's the same thing as the log of 9 over, minus the log of 2. And what is the log of 9? Well, the log of 9 is 0.95, and the log of 2 is 0.3. And we can do that subtraction easy, and we can find out that that's going to be 0.65. Okay, so that makes sense. So you can see how we kind of manipulate these things, and we're trying to get these things in terms of of nines or twos or combinations. So let's try another one. How about the log of 36? Well, I know that 36 is 9 times 4 because I want to get 9 in there. That's 36, but I know that 4 is the same thing as 2 squared, so I can get 2 in there. So I could write it like this. Two squared. Probably should put these in parentheses because they're products. And now we can use our first property, our product rule, and we can say that this is going to be equal to, and I guess I'll write it over here, the log of 9 plus the log of 2 squared. So we got the log of 9. We know that that's going to be 0.95. But what about the log of 2 squared? Well, we got to put the 2 in front. So we can have just the log of 2. So this would be the log of 9 plus 2. Log of 2. And now we've got the log of 9 and the log of 2 isolated. And we know what those values are. So I can just substitute. Log of 9 is 0.95. And I've got 2 times the log of 2, and the log of 2 is 0 0.30. And then we just work that out. We have 0.95, and 2 times 0 0.3 is 0 0.6, so plus 0 0.60. And if we add those, we get 1.5. Five. All right. So that works out kind of cool. Hmm, this one looks kind of tricky. Let's take a look at this one. Here's a number four. 
So again, the idea is to write whatever we have in terms of nines or twos or combinations thereof. log to the base 10 of the cube root of 2 over 9. So we know that we can rewrite this first of all as a exponent, so 2 over 9 to the 1 -third power and then we can put that one-third in front. No, we don't really need that parentheses. Let me kind of wipe that out because we don't really need that. So we'll just have one-third of that log. But we know that that's going to be the quotient rule, so we're going to have the log of the difference. But we have to, do have to multiply that by one-third. So that's going to be one-third the log of 2 over 9, but we know that we can use the quotient rule. So that's going to be 1 third times the log of 2 minus the log of 9. And now we've got our log of 2 and our log of 9, we know what that is, so we just Work it out, one-third. The log of 2 is 0 0.30 minus the log of 9, which is 0.95. That ends up being equal to one-third. And that's going to be negative 0.65. And so we just have to divide 0.65 by 3. And that way, that way we can evaluate it out. So if we don't have a calculator... We could just do it the old-fashioned way. 3 divided into 0.65. And 3 goes into 6 twice. 2 times 3 is 6. Bring down your 5 and goes in there. 3 goes in there. Once, which is 3. And 2, 2 thirds would be my remainder. That's a little bit better than... One half, so we would say this is going to be equal to a rounding it off. It's always approximations. And we have a negative here, so a negative times a positive is a negative, so it'd be negative 0.22. And there you go. So take a look at these. These are pretty good examples of ways to deal with those numerical values and use your properties of logarithms to kind of isolate them and evaluate them.